If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club. Oh. Yo, what's up with y'all, man? It's your boy Day. I'm breaking a brand new video. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yo, season five. This shit is this shit is actually tough, bro. Like, I'm really fucking with this shit, man. I've been playing it a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm level 13 right now. Definitely mascots on the way. That's a fact. Bro, the new six have me comboing like crazy. Like, yo, Kyrie is such a demon, bro. I really fuck with the fact that they dropped this shit, man. It gives me a difference. From, it gives me a change from D Rose and Kemba. I'm tired of using them six. The six been in the games in season one. It's season five. Thank you for dropping some new shit, man. I fuck with y'all, 2K. Now, I ain't gonna lie, bro. There's not gonna be a dribble tutorial today. Let me know. Matter of fact, I'm gonna ask y'all in a poll, bro. Like, when y'all want the dribble tutorial? Like, tomorrow or the next day? Because I do have another banger that I'm thinking about dropping. But if you guys really want it, I can drop a tutorial tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm just gonna show you the six that you're gonna need to get right. You feel me? So, what I'm gonna need y'all to do is like the video, sub to the channel if you're new. I drop every single day. You don't wanna miss out. Now, let's get straight to the banger. Let's go. All right, now it is of the utmost importance that I show you guys my playmaking badges. Without these badges, how you gonna think to dribble like me? You know what I'm saying? See, I got the shooting badges right here, but I'm gonna show you guys that shit when I drop a jump shot video. I'm not showing you that shit in a dribble moves video, so let me show you the playmaking badges right now. This is my playmaking badges right here. This is honestly the only badges you're gonna need, bruh. And yo, I've been said a couple days ago, yeah, you don't need quick chain, which is true. To dribble how I dribble, you don't need quick chain necessarily. You could rock with it on silver or not at all you know what i'm saying you'll you get away with it but i don't know man something about having quick chain on hall of fame it's like bro maybe it does speed up your drip moves just a little bit and even if it does just a little bit bro i want that a little bit so yeah i'm gonna keep it on hall of fame for now hyperdrive as well actually hyperdrive that does speed up how fast you do the crossover up the court let me show you what i'm talking about bro this is the crossover up the court move bro y'all know what i'm talking about man you see me do this plenty of times this is it on hall of fame but let me show you what it looks like with no hyperdrive at all this is how it's going to look like if you take off hyperdrive completely, bro. It's a little bit slower, yeah, but for me, bro, I want that edge on the competition. So, I'm going to put that hyperdrive on Hall of Fame for now, and I'm going to put Quick Chain on Hall of Fame also as well. I'm pluckable. I'm going to put that shit on silver so I can put hyperdrive on Hall of Fame. And then also, all the other badges, like tight handle, stop and go, bailout, that is correct. Like, I'm going to have stop and go Hall of Fame because it does help me out a lot when I'm trying to stop out of my dribble moves. I don't got to peek the shot all the time. Like, I could just run and stop very quickly because of that badge. Tight handles, that's just, that's a bailout, bro. If I get a stun on you, it's automatic green if I shoot that shit. So, yeah, I recommend putting that shit on. You keep it on silver, you know what I'm saying? And then bailout, I keep it on bronze because, you know, sometimes I pass out of a layup or a dunk or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you got to have that on. I don't have on bullet passer. I am a ball hog. When I have the ball, I fucking score. I don't need bullet passer. I'm not, <laughs> I barely pass the ball, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't need that shit. This is for all my scores, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's my playmaking badge setup right there, bro. It's goaded as hell. Now let's move on to the dribble moves. Now let's go. Starting off with the dribble style, you got Kyrie Irving, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is 10,000% the best dribble style in the game. You get the quick peaks. You get the fast misdirections. It's fire as hell, bro. The only other dribble style that rivals this is like Shifty and Allen Iverson. But those you could throw on like the point forwards and shit because Kyrie don't go well with those. So throw that on, now we out to the six size up. Bro, signature size up Kyrie Irving. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I can't even stress this enough, bro. This is this is definitely the best six size up they've dropped even since season one. Since the D-Rose, the Ken Balls, is better than all of them, bro. It's way more explosive than D-Rose and Ken Ball. It also has a couple, like, unique combos that um are in the size up package. So, yeah, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a little dribble tutorial for that shit. I'm gonna show y'all what to do with it. But fast as hell, explosive as shit, I highly recommend. 
Now for the signature combo, bro. Yo, listen, bro. Baron Davis for me is still top one. You know what I'm saying? It's still the best. There's just combos you could do out of it. It's crazy. I fuck with it, right? It chains well together. That hold on. That's the whole point of this shit. It helps you chain your moves together very well. That's the point of the signature combo. Jason Kidd, you can't really chain well for real. Look at this shit. My nigga, this shit slow as hell. Niggas talking about Jason Kidd is fire, bro. No, that shit is not fire, bro. Just stick with Baron Davis until so they drop elite 20 from 2k19 that's all i gotta say about it now for the escape package come on bro like trey young man trey young has been the best it always be the best there's no escape package they're ever gonna drop that's gonna be better now my whole chat was on my ass saying yo yo why the fuck you don't got on kevin durant like kevin durant is definitely better than trey young blah blah fucking blah you know what i'm saying y'all just be talking you know what i'm saying so i tried out kevin durant I mean, you could do a couple stuff with it. You feel me? It's just like it's low key, just a slower version of Trey Young. But one thing I will say is like the escape, this escape right here, bro. This shit from 2K19, not even just 2K19, the older 2Ks. I like it. I like that they put it in the package. That's cool. That's the only thing cool about it. I will not be using Kevin Durant, Trey Young on top. Now for the moving crossover, bro. I got two fire moving crossovers. They didn't add no new ones. That's cool. It's whatever. I'm just gonna take from the old ones. I'm either gonna use Giannis. I'm gonna use Chris Paul, bro. Either one. Giannis it gives me this crossover right here. It's cool. It's whatever. I like it. And then Chris Paul, it gives me this, bro. If I wanna do like this glitchy in between the legs crossover, I'll put on Chris Paul. You know what I'm saying? If I don't, I'm using Giannis. It's that simple. Now for the behind the back. Come on, bro. I'm using Scottie Pippen. I'm probably never gonna take off Scottie Pippen. They tried to sneak in a little Steph Curry behind the back there. That shit is dog shit. Do not use it. <laughs> Please don't. It's fucking terrible. You know what I'm saying? Scotty Pippen is just the best, man. Moving spin, bro. Literally, what are you going to put on other than basic? They try to add a moving spin, but you can't cancel out of it this year, so it's no point. Just keep on basic spin. Like, what the fuck? Moving hesitation is rage on Rondo. I used to say that this shit is trash, but literally, while making this video and I'm looking at my clips, I was like, yo, I'm just thinking like... I definitely know a move I could chain together with the spin and then with the hezzy. So I'm gonna try that on my court after I drop this video. But yeah, just put on Ray John Rondo. For the moving step back, you wanna have on Jimmy Butler. You can use Chris Paul if you wanna like try to spam and see if you can get ankle breakers. But Jimmy Butler is like more clean. I feel like comboing better with Jimmy Butler. Kyrie Irving is slow and tries to not put it on. So yeah, keep on Jimmy Butler. And also, the very last part of the six is the hop jumper. Like, bro, that should honestly be a part of the playmaking moves, but it is what it is. My hop jumper is Steph Curry. If I want to go for trick shots and shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'll put on a Trey Young, Nate Robinson, Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll throw some other shit on if I'm going for a trick shot. But if I'm dribbling and I'm not doing trick shots that day, I'm keeping on Steph Curry and maybe Pro 2 if I'm feeling like it. All right, but these are my dribble moves right here, bro. I'm telling you, these are the best moves in the game, hands down, bro. Yo, let me know when y'all want me to post a dribble tutorial. I'll put a poll up tomorrow to see where y'all has it at. But yeah, until then, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to take my ass to the rack. I'm about to see if I can hit like level 20 or some shit. First dribble got hit in the mask, guys. Y'all already know the vibe. I'm gonna do an ISO park stream for y'all boys tomorrow. It's your boy Day. I'm out. Banger dropping them all. I'll catch y'all in the next one.